Try not to head bank challenge. Holland, Holland, selbst die Bayern haben man. FPL Team Selection. <laughs> Reviewing last week's points with an unlucky of the week. Unlucky! And a daddy of the week. Oh yes, daddy! Previewing next week with spicy score predictions, a tasty transfer watch list, crazy captain thoughts, and my team selection in this Game Week Preview! We're in Wonky Donkey Game Week 2. I scored 58 points. Unlucky! Which means my overall rank has gone up! Hey, to 4.7 millionth in the world. Oh, um, that's a bit of a unlucky. But my unlucky player of the week was Leon Bailey, who looked as sharp as a machete in game week one, now as blunt as a hammer, not even starting in game week two. Unlucky. And my daddy of the week was Gabriel Jesus. I wasn't too keen on him from the start, but he was keen to spank everyone who didn't back him, scoring a gigantic 19-pointer this week. Oh yes, daddy! But my not-so-sexy team finished like this. Ah. <laughs> well, you know that uh, first-in-the-world stuff, right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty tough, apparently, isn't it? It's not looking good anymore. Yeah. Now I'm panicking. It's not that my team is even that bad. It's just not, is it? It's just my double Liverpool defence have been proper wibbly wobbly from the start, with almost every other defence outscoring them, but also the money that they are taking up made me not afford the likes of a Martinelli or other players that are just doing better. And then I've also picked right now the worst possible 8 million mid who has actually played both of the games in Mason Mount. So I guess you could say all of those 50-50 decisions have just been a bit of a I like it. But again, it's just not a terrible team. We've just had a terrible start. So we won't have a strop about it for too long. We won't chuck our dummies out the pram. No, no, no. We will stay strong in our picks as I believe we can still fight back. As we move on to next week in the Game Week 3 preview. Where we start with the watch list. The list of players I'm watching right now. Players I don't currently have in my team, but ones that are tickling my pickle. Now in my team, the bright red light warning alarms are going off for not owning Martinelli right now. Especially saying Arsenal's fixtures are about to get even better than ever before. So you know, if I don't get him, that could be a bit of a odia, a bit of a I like it. And then the rest of the players on here are just different ways to enable me to afford him. Where realistically, the only player I'm willing to sell to afford the players I wanna do are a mount of money mace, uh, a waste of money mace that is, or even selling an Andrew Robertson. Oh, oh, ow, ow. It already pains me saying that, because it could happen. But my number one defender of choice right now would actually be a Reese Jim Jams. But if I go Bailey out and Martinelli in, I can't afford it by going Robertson to James. I need a defender cheaper than James. So that is actually just a bit sad. So to be able to do that, I am looking at 5 million defenders instead. Where out of them, we have a Walker, who is probably the best for clean sheets. We have a Cucurella, who could be great for clean sheets and got good attacking potential. Or we have a Zinchenko, who could actually be the best of the best, who has all of the clean sheet potential with their fixtures, all the attacking threat potential, but also just the sexiest out of all of them for the next few games. Which is why Bigger Boy has taken his first hit of the season <laughs> of Andy Robertson out. Yes, that, that that's really sad. Andy Robertson and Bailey out. Get out! To bring in Zinchenko and Martinelli in. That's right, the first big boy hit of the season has been made, taking out Robertson, who yes, is just about to play that Man United team. So that will definitely be a bit of a unlucky. But I personally just had a bit of an Arsenal fever right now, you know? Where right here, I've got in two great value players playing Bournemouth and Fulham next. Absolutely fantastic stuff and definitely worth it in my opinion. So now, my sexy team looks like this. Where we are going for a reverse Christmas tree formation here, yeah? a 5 3 2, to hopefully have a bit more of a jolly game week with my players gifting me with all of our points. We now have a bite out of each of the big boy defensive pies, with one defender from each of Liverpool, Man City, Spurs and Arsenal, and also the goalkeeper from Chelsea, with all of my defenders being very, very attacking, and definitely favourable enough fixtures this week to get all of the attacking returns. And then we have a Mendy in goals, who I feel like his saves and the 1 million less than he is over James could potentially, you know, be worth it, right? I'm definitely not just saying that because I couldn't get to James, you know, no, no. But not Mendy, I think he's good value. And then also this week, we have a cheeky Neko Williams starting in there, 
over the likes of Aneto or Andreas Pereira, as Everton are actually more toothless than a newborn baby right now. And Neko Williams is literally just a B-Tech Trent. He loves a cross, he's gonna get all the points this game. In the midfield this week, we have a Mo Salah hoping to score Mo points this week, probably a double hat-trick incoming, as he is playing that. Man United team, and he just loves scoring against Man United. Oh, it's going to be so sexy. Mason Mount is a player who I'm unfortunately having to keep my faith with, but I reckon his next few fixtures are quite sexy enough that he's going to surprise a few people and start bringing in those attacking returns. Otherwise, if he doesn't, I'm going to have to attack him and ban him from my club. Please don't let me do this to you. You best score points. And then we also have our new recruit here in Martinelli joining us, playing against a wibbly wobbly Bournemouth, and also he's just incredible value. I always wanted to get him in for this run, but I didn't get him in straight from the start because I want to see how his minutes are being managed and how he's playing but actually right now he's looking better than the likes of Saka so I'm also kind of glad that I waited because I was going to get Saka but I'm also not glad because I haven't got his points but either way we got him now forwarding on to our forwards sees Holland play Newcastle sorry sorry what's his name Holland, Holland. which could be a tough game but then also you realize he playing for Man City, he's going to get all chances, and he's on pens, never in doubt. And then we also have the man who always just seems to be on the phone, like, who is he ringing? I don't know. But either way, he's ready to play, it's Gabriel Jesus, playing Bournemouth this week after just scoring 19 points last week. Damn, son. Could he get even more this week? No, he's definitely going to blank now that everyone's going to get him in and captain on the <laughs> But that right there is the team sorted. The first hit of the season done with hey. It has been a bit of a wibbly wobbly start. A big bit of an unlucky, you know, with pretty much every single 50-50 decision I've made going completely the wrong way. And now it feels like the only way I can catch up is just to make my team just like what everybody else is look like in game week one. And now I'm just like three transfers behind and loads of points behind. So yeah, uh, oh dear. But no, 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 we're not giving up. It's not over till the big and boy oinks, you know. First in the world, the comeback of the century is still on. It could still happen. Imagine when it happens. It, it'll be all over the news. Oh, everybody was in doubt, you know. Four or five million after the first second week. No, 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 he can never do it. But no, 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 he can still do it. Just watch. Now, I'm just going to keep telling myself this and then, because if it doesn't work out, it's just funny. Top 3 million finish. Well, hey, see, almost first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where captaincy this week could make or break this comeback, you know? Where do we go extra safe with no spice at all? Or do we risk it for a chocolate biscuit and just go for it with a spicy differential? Well, the answer to all of that and my captain for Gaming 3 is... <laughs> Mo Salah! He's a good enough captain in any given game week, right? But playing against this Man United team right now, who look like they're about to implode even more, like it could actually get worse than it already is. I honestly see nothing less than Salah being a hat-trick hero here, getting all other points. The vice captain is going to go on a player who is absolutely nailed. Nailed to score all of the points this week as well, as it's Gabby Jesus. I can see why a lot of people could be teased into a Gabby Cappy this week, scoring 19 points last week and then up against a Bournemouth this week. But Salah having the pens, United actually having worse numbers than Bournemouth right now, it has to be the Mo to get Mo points for me. Whereas if my FBL team wasn't embarrassing enough in these team selection videos, my score predictions last week were even worse. Where I actually only got three correct outcomes and one correct score. Unlucky! But this week, we're hoping that we can get slightly better predictions with others. Where, to be honest, I can't even be bothered to go through them all like I have in the last weeks. Bing Boy is kind of like 50% flagged, not quite match fit right now, you know. <laughs> Nah, can't be bothered. But I do think we will see some interesting scores this week. With the likes of Gerard slipping up, and could his managerial job actually be a threat? Forrest beating Lampard, making him potentially getting chucked out the door very soon. And the likes of Spurs, Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, and Liverpool scoring all the goals because I'm not being biased towards my FBL team at all, as I definitely don't think they're going to score all the goals and keep all the clean sheets, coincidentally where all of my attacking players and all of my defensive players are as well. Yeah. <laughs> but those are my predictions this week. And that right there is my FBL Gaming 3 team selection done. Way. It has been a pretty wibbly wobbly start. A hit has now been taken, and we just have it all to do if you want to even start fighting up those ranks, never mind get close to first in the world. But don't worry, it can still happen. That is going to be it. Thanks for watching but also remember <laughs> don't be a cheeky scrub subscribe to nathan bacon right now <laughs>